Now I would just tell you my story because I, we're talking about Bessie Milley being a storm witch. Um, when she died, she her her role was taken over by another woman who they called Mammy Scott, and Mammy Scott also could control the weather. But whereas Bessie was kind of you know regarded as being cunning, but harmless, uh, Mammy Scott would raise storms to swamp ships and kill people if she fell out with them, uh, and she also had the power to uh, bring insanity on people. So she was kind of feared, you know. Now, <clears throat> she sold fair winds to sailors, and uh, there was a, a Lewis man who was in Orkney in, in his ship. Uh, he came for Stornoway. And he had been stuck in Stromness for quite a while, waiting for the wind to change. Uh, but the wind was completely against him, and it was just hopeless. So he went along to Mammy Scott, and he bought a fair wind from her. And she gave him a piece of string that had three knots in it. And she said, when you sail, when you want to leave harbour, untie the first knot, and you'll get a favourable wind. It'll come for the earth you want, for the direction you want. It'll come for the right earth, and it'll just be a fine, stiff breeze. It'll just blow you out through the hoisund, out into the Atlantic. And then, if you'd like to go a bit faster, untie the second knot, and the wind will pick up, and it'll give you a fine, good, strong wind all the way to Stornoway, and you'll be home in no time. But on no account, whatever you do, don't untie the third knot. So he promised anyway the money was paid. He got into his boat, he untied the first knot, and sure enough, the wind swung around, and it was good fresh breeze, and he sailed out through the hoisund, heading out down towards Cape Wrath, and he thinks, right, a bit more. So he unties the second knot, and the wind picks up. And he's fairly scudding along, you know, they're doing great speed. And uh, him and his crew, they're fairly happy, they're going to be home in no time. And sure enough, they're right down, right down to Lewis, and he comes up to the entry towards Stornoway. He's just coming into the harbour. And curiosity gets about her home, and he thinks, I wonder what happens if I untie the third knot. So he unties the third knot, and suddenly the sky just goes black. And a howling gale springs out of nowhere, right in his teeth, right blowing directly towards him. And it blows him right out of Stornoway Harbour. And they have to run before the wind as best as they can, uh, thinking that the ship could be overcome, swamped with the waves at any time, but they manage to run in front of the, the gale and it blows them right back to Stromness. So whether he ever get back to Mammy Scott and ask for another bit of string, I don't know. But And I can that you find that story all over. It's, sometimes it's bits of straw with coloured threads tied to them. Sometimes it's the three knots in the string. But uh, the weather witches, they're all over the place, whatever they're seamen. There's women that can make a living by selling them good winds. Also, like Bessie, they may have to wait a pretty while for it. <laughs>